KUAM Sports is brought to you by Docomo Pacific. Better together. How about some tennis? Wouldn't that be nice? And I am your 671 sports nerd, everybody. Jason Salas here, joined by one of our very finest on the tennis court, um, on the hard court, and Camden Camacho, I would dare say. Um, have, you, have you played on grass and on clay as well? No, not like... Not officially. Only one time in Hawaii, but I don't even know if that counts. Well, you know, you, you are now a college graduate, so you've got a little bit more time. You know, but, um, you know you're going to enter the workforce, you know, do great things for our island and everything like that. But yeah, I mean, it's it's always always fun to play on like on clay and on grass. But, you know, your hardcore game is very well chronicled and everything like that. We're super, super proud of me of you. Uh, so tell me all about what you've been up to and, you know, what you've been able to accomplish lately. Yeah, so my um team george fox university uh, we were able to go to the regionals um tournament for ncaa division three um and we were able to win one round um fought hard in the second round i'd say it's a very very winnable match but you know something some things just don't go your way um you know miss a couple points here and there and next thing you know you you find yourself down a match um which is kind of what happened for us against our opponent in round two um that happened last week and for upcoming i have two, in about two weeks i'll be in florida um for the individuals doubles nationals with my partner um where we'll be challenging there'll be us and 15 other teams basically the top 16 teams of each or of the nation for d3 and we're gonna have a single elimination tournament mm -hmm. hopefully yeah now the one thing that really stand, uh, sticks out to me, like I mean, and I've been watching your game for like for like a while. By the by the way, everybody, Camden's dad, Camden's dad, really really good volleyball and tennis player way back way back in the day. So shout out to Tom. Um, now even though you've taken your game to you know a next level and you're traveling all over the country, you know, playing against uh, players that you know like aren't where we're from, and you know like um you know you play against guys from the same village or maybe a different school. FD plays St. Paul, whatever like that. Um, you're on a different level now, and that's awesome. But obviously by the great seal of our island over your left shoulder and everything like that, you've maintained that connection to home. So how do you kind of, um, you know, remember where you came from, um, you know, as you continue to expand your game and, you know, what do people ask you about Guam? Wow. Um, how do I, kind of, I tell everyone or anyone who asks, like, what is my why? Like, why do I play tennis? Why do I choose to kind of fight every day and day in, day out? And I tell them it's because of all my support in Guam. Um, I mean, every time I go home or even I just get texts from family and friends or just like, Hey, like you're doing great. Keep it up, you know, um, keep fighting for Guam. Um, I love, I love representing Guam. Um, and I, I believe that all of these matches that I have through, or I, I learned and, and I experienced through college that that will help me represent Guam better. So that's why I play hard as hard as I can day in, day on practices, um, in matches, especially, um, just so I, I can do well in, in Guam. And I know there's a lot of space to grow coming out from Guam um, as one of the top juniors of my age group. Um, I came out here and I, I realized that, hey, there's plenty and plenty, plenty of more knowledge to grow in um, and more skill to you know, learn. And I think just being able to make myself as best as possible in this amount of uh, short amount of time that I have out here so I can go back home and coach kids or go back home and you know compete against all the juniors or even the adults and and just try to teach them as much information I think that's that's basically my why as mm -hmm. to why I play tennis right on okay so uh, you touched on something and I found this very very interesting and, and you were able to master and overcome like an obstacle that a lot of athletes run into and, and, and a lot of people real struggle with and everything is when you go from being and having the level of success that you did as a junior, I mean, you know, you were, and you still are like the man when you take the tennis court, right. But then you go to like a different place and you say, you may be playing people your own age that have been to, you know, like the Nike camps or, you know, like the, the real, you know, upper, upper echelon, you know, like uh, training academies and everything ever since they were like little kids. Um, how did you have to adjust your game? And what did you take away from like from that experience? You know, when you went to a different um, to a different level. Um, I don't have to. I, I believe I had to adjust my game. Like, I mean, tennis is is a game 
made of like non-stop adjustments uh every point every every game every set is it's constant like you can't just play one style um so yeah i mean there's people who on my team or opponents that i've had who've trained at like the top nike top like academies of known tennis professionals img academy and everything um but i i believe that like my competitiveness um through ten like through tennis um volleyball soccer and, and everything playing back home just playing with my teammates here who are completely new people whenever i like when i first came in uh i think allowing that to i guess like that new environment kind of made me realize that hey i need to constantly adjust and like even though my i know my opponents have gone to img academy or or any other nike tennis camps or tennis academies I, at the end of the day, I think like, hey, we both made it this far. We both worked very hard. Um, I give them respect, but it doesn't matter if they've gone there. Like, it's me versus him. Like, and you know, I'm gonna give him my all. That's that six seven one fighting spirit right there, bro. <laughs> because you know, yeah. because like you said, you you give your opponent like the high respect. You'll shake their hand at the uh, at the end of the match and everything like that, but. <laughs> you're going to give them hell once the, you know, once the match starts and everything, and you're going to do your very best. I mean, you're, you know, you're not, you're not going to play dirty. You're not going to cheat. Uh, but you, you know, you are going to put your whole like mind, body and soul into the match. And, you know, I mean, that's really all you can do. And that's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. I, I agree. I think just being able to like come out of a match saying, Hey, like I gave him my all win or lose. I think it is, is one of the greatest things that you can achieve. I think there you not, go. I think it's not always, I mean, winning is good. It's always it's always good, but it's not always the best thing because you sometimes you can win just by, you know, going through the motion. But I think giving your all is is what where you really learn. Okay, now for the locals that that used to watch you like back here at home and, and support you all the time, how has your game changed? Because you know, I mean, I mean, you're a growing young man. You know, you're uh, you're physically growing. Uh, you probably learned like new techniques or, you know, like worked on a couple things that, that you wanted to and everything. Do you have like a more devastating serve? Has your passing shot like evolved? How has your game changed? Um, That's, that's pretty interesting. You um, may come back and like you said, you may teach and people will be like, dude, I didn't even re recognize Kansas. Like, his, his, you know. Yeah, no, it's, it's pretty interesting that you mentioned passing shots because um, it's not like a common game style to like kind of want to bring someone in and pass them. Um, but that's, I'd say that's, that's my favorite game style is, Hey, like, I want to make you uncomfortable to come into the net. Um, like you may love coming to the net, but I'll make it uncomfortable for you to come in and kind of force you in and then pass you. I think, um, I, yeah, I think one of the many skills I've learned out here is just the ability to, um, just learn a lot of positioning and, and trying to read where your opponent's going to go, um, like where they are on the on court, what are the shots available that they can hit in the in the split second? Um, and just trying to predict that. And and then from there I've learned technique through my coach, um, of hey, like if you're gonna allow someone to come in and try to attack you and you're you're opening that up to them, like you have to have pretty compact technique or or like a standard way of 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 hitting uh hitting a passing shot, basically. So, um, so you've almost learned like, uh, pardon me, uh, you've almost learned like more like um, econ uh, economy of motion, because I know like a, a lot of people, even musicians, as they'll say, you know, when I was young, I used to fly all over like, you know, uh, the guitar. But as I begin to learn and play with other people, it's like, you don't have to like waste movement and waste energy and everything. And then that way, if, if you have to go four or five sets way deep, or you know, you have some crazy like deuce that lasts like 45 <laughs> minutes and everything like that, you've got stuff left in the tank to actually get the job done yeah yeah exactly um I, yeah it, it's all about efficiency efficiency of movement efficiency of shots um you may lose a couple points here and there but it's like who's who's expending more energy at the end of the day at the end of the point you know it's like and in volleyball the yeah. same thing you know you don't you don't want to like you don't want to gas out in the first set because you want to be around for the third set yeah yeah 100 percent. okay so before i let you go one more question so now we're going to take the opposite of efficiency right which is gluttony and like i said okay. you're, st you're still a young guy um you're, you're turning into a wonderful young man and are, are an ambassador for guam sports and we really appreciate it we're super super proud of you uh but you're probably burning like thousands of calories a day so what is camden camacho's nutrition and diet tips for young for young athletes 
Because oh. because I know you still I know you still love the tomorrow food even though you're over there in the mainland. Yeah, no, honestly, <laughs> the, the barbecue and tomorrow food is like that's my weakness. Um, but you can still do that I, prior to a match. Um, not here, not here. When I'm on Guam, yes. Um, but no, I think my one one diet tip is like, hey, you know, eat a lot of protein, a lot of protein for muscle recovery. Um find try to find your like a comfortable comfortable weight that you're at um i came in at like 135 five, six, five, seven, and i was like you know like hey i love my weight i'm fast and everything and and then next you know i kind of i gained like 20 pounds 15 20 pounds um, uh, the freshman 15 as they say you know? <laughs> yeah yeah but i would like i would hope to say you know there's some some fat some muscle but um eventually yeah i'm now my my walk around weight is 150 155 and i think that like you know i i play a lot more efficient here um i, I love my weight here so i think you know it, it doesn't hurt to experiment different like a little heavier weights um but try to make it smart weights with protein uh hydrate a lot drink a lot of water pedialyte is like my best friend in matches um Gatorade is good, yeah, but I just love Pedialyte. Like mm-hmm. the night before, I'll just chug a whole Pedialyte bottle and and call it like uh, and more, and more water. But I'll call it. I'll be like, wow, like I'm I'm hydrated, you know. And then during the match, I'll have like one Pedialyte per set or something, just mm-hmm. overhydrate myself, just so that I I don't want to risk like cramping. Um, well, you need those electrolytes to get you through. That's for sure. Yes, yes, especially because like tennis is a very um. It's a very long game, but it's it's very draining. Um, even in the cold, like you're gonna be losing a lot of energy and everything. So I think, yeah, a lot of actual electrolytes. Eat eat constantly, like while you're playing, like snack, 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 just so you can refill the nutrients back into it. Cliff bars, um, proteins, snacks. Um, you know, like some people wait until they're cramping and then they're like, oh, let me just try to eat bananas and stuff, but. I mean, if you if possible, like you can just eat like a couple bites every changeover and call it good. It's like preventative, basically. See, and that's smart because with me and your dad's generation, and everything like eating in like during a game was almost like you know like a mortal sin because they were they were like, don't do that because you know um, you know you might you know have like a stomach issue or you know you might you might start cramping. But now they actually recommend you know jam on a power bar or something. Yeah, I mean, I think like. We also well, used to take yeah, a volleyball. We used to take shots of honey. Oh uh, yeah, I mean a sugar boost. Yeah, uh, shots of honey. I think uh, some people do like mustard packets or pickle juice. Um, yeah. I know, yeah, like for salt. Um, like yeah. I know one of my friends who plays at University of Hawaii. He like says, I I I believe it was him. He says that he gets like salt. He brings salt, and every changeover he just gets a pinch of salt and just puts on his tongue um and just drinks a bunch of water and i think it's like learning to not overfill yourself and just having the right amount of like hey a couple bites every changeover like replenishing it um which it, it could be very different in volleyball because um your breaks in tennis are a lot more frequent because it's every couple games versus volleyball which is a set which is you know every 25 points um yeah, so boys and girls it. listening to Canada, I mean, he knows what he's talking about. He's got the the heart of a lion, a champion's mindset, and you can always like save the flaming hot Cheetos for after the match and everything. But you know, get your get your get your potassium, eat some bananas, like he said. You know, get your protein. Uh, so maybe save the carbs for afterwards and everything like that. But you know, that's 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 a post game treat. But you know, Camden, we know like you know you're growing, your game is continuing to evolve. But the one thing that has not changed since you've been playing here, since you've been a little kid, is your heart. And we know, like, you know, it's in the right place. And you, you like you said, you want to come back and you want to teach. You want to uh, expose young people to the game that's given you so much and everything like that. And uh, we can't see, wait to see what you have uh, in the future, man, because you're a great ambassador for sports again for Guam. So we, we really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So and real quick, where can people find you on uh, socials? Uh, social media. I have my Instagram. It's it's Camden. Um, there's like five a's in it it's pretty complicated but nice yeah that's, that prevents the bots from finding you <laughs> yeah um and it's just it's and then my name camden 
Very cool. So, so follow him, wish him well on his journey and everybody, everybody, because, you know, like he's going big places and everything. And like, he comes, he comes from a real, real pure place. So, uh, Kevin, we wish you uh, the very best of luck and we congratulate you on your success, man. Thank you. KUAM Sports is brought to you by Docomo Pacific. Better together.